Okay, peeps, so as of right now, we're doing a stop somewhere in nowhere. I mean, you get the idea, right? <laughs> Now the ride has been surprisingly smooth. I have my little capsule in there. The ride is like 13 hours. This is our first stop. So we just got to Udaipur here. Just talking to my camera a little bit right now. Do you think I'm gonna be the driver of this thing? No, you can't be here. There will be a lot of traffic over there. You can't That's not a problem. You have to drive there. It's a driver. You're a second driver. No part. Huh? Have a safe journey. Thank you, you too. So, with all this action, we made it into Udaipur. My tuk-tuk driver just dropped me off. My hostel is supposed to be over there. So it has been a long trip, I'm pretty exhausted. So I would say, let's check in and then go from there. Check in. So I thought, hey, let's just go up to the rooftop. I knew there's gonna be a rooftop here, but this place is absolutely amazing. Like, zero to 100, you get an impression off the city. It's definitely very unique. Like, you see right from here, a lot of different stuff. Sun is hitting a little bit too hard right now, so I'm probably gonna come back either in the evening or in the early morning. I'll ask them at what time they open up, but yeah, I'm getting pretty excited right now about this place. As of right now, I took a shower. I am feeling a little better. About to get some food. I ordered it, and right next to it, I have the Yagdish Temple, which you see above me. Really, really interesting, like just the architecture, there's like so much detail in every stone. So that's pretty cool, that's kind of like my weight for my Mosa. Let's check that out. In Rajasthan, elephant symbol of good luck, horse symbol of power, camel symbol of love. Camel from Jaisalmer, elephant from Jaipur, horse from Udaipur. Three symbols in that. I'm waiting for you because uh, if, I, if I do this, you become... As of right now, I'm being fueled by a Mosa for 80 rupees, which is like a euro dough with potato inside. Really, really nice. And yeah, right now I am by the lake, and this city is obviously so much different than Delhi. It's absolutely uncomparable in many ways. Still super busy, you know, just like cows standing on the bridge, just like casually walking by everywhere. It's it's extremely unique, but also I am extremely beaten up by my bus journey and everything else, especially after having something to eat. I just feel like totally crashing in my bed, and uh, likely this is also what I'm gonna be doing. So I might still check out the rooftop at my hostel and then call it a day, and uh, yeah, maybe get an early start. Let's go. And so, good morning to a morning in Udaipur, India. I'm right now on the rooftop, somewhat of a sunrise. It's a little cloudy, but it is obviously already super loud and busy. This city is very intriguing so far. I had like the first look, a first glimpse yesterday. And today, after having some breakfast, after maybe doing a little bit, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> after doing a little bit of work, we're gonna be heading out. This city, has a certain magic to it. So we're gonna be exploring all of that. Got a good bit of work down at the rooftop, really chill. <laughs> Obviously you hear how the vibe here is. And actually I wanna get one of those. I wanna be able to beep 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 on this street here in India. We'll see, basically a motorbike, a scooter. There's supposed to be a place right there. Let's see how much it's gonna be. Let's see if we can get one really easy. Looking for a bike for rent? Not, today not ambulance. Not ambulance? Okay, thank you. Good, good. 
I wanted to, I wanted to ask you if you could do me a favor, like take yeah. a little clip on me. I organize the scooter. Organize somebody to help me out, Phil. Wow, it's loud here. All right, so that's right here. It's gonna be my baby, the baby for today and tomorrow morning. My host at the hostel gave me a few tips. I'm gonna go up the hill. It's supposed to get a lot quieter there. So I'm excited for that. Peeps, we are on the motorbike five minutes. It's obviously complete madness, but once you join it, it actually becomes fun and everything starts to make sense. So the donkeys, everything is perfectly planned out to help me to get to the hill. And so I got given a completely empty scooter. As of right now, this is my first point of reference. I made it out out of the complete crazy busyness. And yeah, what a nice surprise. Absolute wide view, hills, little houses. It's really nice. Sun is coming out, so I'll be going on top of the hill. There's supposed to be a viewpoint and a castle. It's really weird. Like there are still some people in the back. But it's so peaceful right now. It's always a contrast. So far, I feel like since I entered India, I haven't had a peaceful second. Uh, let's keep going. Okay, out here in nature, in some local village, and this is supposed to be kind of like the famous viewpoint in the area. I'm very excited, it's supposed to be kind of like a 10 minute walk and uh, yeah the ride very interesting out of this extreme business into a like, complete calmness but with that also like a few new scents that i was able to smell like there were one or maybe a two three that cows on the side so you can imagine how that smelled i never smelled something like that before just crazy like a huge animal on the side and overall like cows like just running by everywhere definitely love that so Let's check out this view. top of the hill yeah quite cool up here the view is definitely amazing A little daisy too easy bam I'm not gonna lie riding around here is super intense I just came back pretty much from the outskirts back into the city my next stop is gonna be the Bombay market maybe getting some food we'll see how the situation is over there but like the first 20 minutes i was stoked i was hyped but now maybe it's just also me getting needing to get some food but yeah the traffic and the roads something else like i've been to a few places a few big cities you know like bangkok manila traffic manila traffic is crazy but the india traffic here yeah. No, but in general, yes. But you, and it's usually always like, hey, what's up? And that is that for right now. It is the next morning I'm back at my hostel. Extremely cool place. Like they even have breakfast included. So that is that. And also, I got a good bit of amazing drone shots. Like there is always a little haze. I don't know, maybe it's probably it's pollution in the air. But still, just the aesthetic of this place is absolutely amazing. Wow. I do have to tell you very honestly that I'm not sure if I like it that much yet. Why? I'm gonna explain to you in the next video and we're also gonna be moving on in the next few days to the next destination. I got another 
week in India. As you see, I'm still a little like tired, slept. Gonna get breakfast, gonna do some editing, and we're gonna see each other in the next one. If you're new here, check out my second channel as well. Smash the thumbs up button if you haven't yet, and by now, you should have subscribed. I mean, come on, please. <laughs> uh, the early mornings. Until next time.